Hey everyone, it's Craig Douglas. Today we are doing Separate Ways by Journey. So this is a fairly easy song, except for the leads, you know, and stuff, but um, so let's dig right in. So it starts out with the keyboard, and the guitar is going to go. So what you're doing there is you want to get a nice distortion, because you want to, there's going to, he's going to be doing those harmonics there. So what we do there, we're going to, what I found out it works best is, uh, I play the open string, the open E on the sixth string, okay? I'm taking my pinky, and I'm playing the seventh fret, fifth string, and I'm muting everything else except for I'm letting the, uh, my first finger is playing the fourth fret on the third string. See that? It's got that nice. So if you listen to it, so if you're just playing like a, that can work too. You gotta choose your preference, you know? But I, I think this sounds more to what, what he's doing, so you can do like a, you can do right here up here too. Whatever you like, you know? I, I mean, I found myself at first when I was playing this with the band, I was just playing the the, the, the low end of the E here because I liked the way it sounded. But you know, I was like, I wanted to do something different because I want because this you play this in the in the chorus, I wanted something a little bit different, and it sounds nice here. Let's hear that? Then then your hands right there too. When you do those harmonics. You got all you do is lay your second finger across. The fifth string there, so that's that's what we're doing there. So I'm playing open string on the sixth, pinkies on the seventh fret, fifth string, and my first fingers on the uh, um, anyways third string, fourth fret. I'm going. So there's the uh, the the tempo. We're gonna go. Playing harmonics there, so I get the harmonics. I'm going across the fifth fret, but I'm gonna move it right between the exactly between the fifth and the sixth fret and above the metal there. And what you do there is you lay it across, but you don't press down, so you're just laying it across the string. So I'm gonna go um, fourth string, third string, fourth string, third string. See it? That's what we're doing. So we're going. And then the keyboard is like changing keys and everything, but we're still st staying here. And the vocals come in. We're staying there, and then it'll go to the. The, the, the pre chorus. Is like, <laughs> so, what we do there is we're going to go A, B, C to D, and then ABC, we're doing the A, B, C, D. So, we're going to go A, B, C, D, and then D, and we're going to put D, A, A. If anybody doesn't know what um, the, the bar chords are, the D's and the A's, go look up my bar chord videos and you'll be able to figure this out. So let's go. Ahead. That's gonna do that twice, that's that's gonna go that's gonna go B C C see that? That's so that's the pre-chorus. The first time you have to wait a little bit for the the chorus to come in, and the second time you do it, you wait a little less. So watch the timing when you when you're doing this song. So then it's gonna go. So the, the 
the chorus is going to go E. <laughs> I found myself when I play this I'm singing it with the band too um so but I found myself doing like I think when 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 I heard it on the album he's just he's just playing it like that <laughs> Letting it ring out, but I, I found myself sometimes playing it like this. So that's going to be your preference too. Okay, so we're going to play the E to the D to the C. Okay, so it's like watch that. You don't want to, you can play the A minor here if you want to. It sounds nicer here. So get those high, higher notes. Then we're going to play uh, five, six on the fifth string. Back to the E. Six on the fifth string. Back to the beginning stuff. So this does all that again, but but I've noticed there's two times in this in this verse where he does the thing without the harmonics. He'll go. And he'll go back to the harmonics, and he'll, then the next time he does the same thing, he'll do the. So what he's doing there is he's just palm mute in the sixth string open. He's going. So watch that. He does that twice in there. Then we're gonna go back to the. Chorus. guitar solo so the guitar solo goes what we're gonna do there we're playing the 12th fret second string then the 12th fret first string try to get a nice vibrato on both of them then we're gonna go 14 15 on the first string and we'll do it again so it's gonna do it twice. Now he's gonna bend the 15 to the 12 on the first ring. Then we're gonna go 14, 15 on the first ring. Then we're gonna go. So what he does there is he's gonna have. You're gonna have your first finger on the uh, 15th fret. Your uh, second finger is going to be on the 17th fret. This is all first string. And you're going to take your third finger and it's going to be on the 19th fret. So we're going to go. So we're going to have these two on the 15 and 17. Watch that. So we're going to pick the 17. So we're going to go. So we're going to pull off, hammer pull off from 17, 19. See it? See that? Pick up your second finger, so that's, you're staying on the 15 there still. Bringing it back down to the 17. This is all first string. Then back to the 15. Then 14, 15. Then pinky and the 
17th fret, second string. Then uh, we're playing first finger and the 13th fret, second string. Then we're playing second finger and the 14th fret, third string to the 11. See that? reason I always want to play it like a blue scale. So there, there you go, that's the crack way. That's what it sounds like. So then he's gonna still go, he's going. So that part's just like the beginning. We're gonna play that twice and then the band and then the tw the, the that's where we go. Then we're gonna go 14, 15. Then he goes crazy there. So he does his Neo Xion thing. So do your own thing. What I do, I, I didn't never even figure that out. I just do your own thing. I do like that. Stay in E and it sounds like. Do your best little lick there and end on a, and then the, and then it goes um so from there he's gonna go. Uh, so he's playing an E, and G inversion, the C inversion, the A. So I go up to about the 19 and the sixth string and bend it. to the D so when you do a D there you're gonna go he's gonna bend the 15 just the 15 and the second shape then we're gonna go C inversion to the B so we're gonna do that Chorus again. So now when we do the uh, guitar solo, we're gonna go. Now, so the first, now watch this. So the, the only thing different, he's gonna do the same solo. He's gonna. Go, I'm trying to think, is he bend it down or? So that's what he, so instead of how we started, we went. He's gonna go. So you're gonna take the uh, 12 on the second string, and then we're gonna take the 12. So th this time we're gonna bend it. It's gonna be a full bend. We're gonna do the 14 to the 15, then we're gonna go. Same thing. Then we're gonna bend up 15 to the 12. Then 14, 15. So just like the first solo, we're gonna do the same thing there. Then we're gonna go. Do the same thing again. Do the 15 to 12 band. Then we're gonna go. Then we're gonna go. That's how we're gonna end it. So we're gonna go. Then we're not gonna go crazy this time. We're gonna go. So we're gonna do 14 three times to the 15. Um, 
So we're gonna end it like that. We're gonna go. So it's gonna go. Now what's gonna go? Two, three, four. Does that twice, and then it ends. That's the end there. Okay.